Hello, my lovely geometry students. We are going to start 10-3 arcs and chords, um, and we are going to be um, using relationships between arcs and chords to solve algebraic problems and to find the measurements of those arcs and chords. So let's start with this first theorem, 10.2. What it's saying is that the two arcs are congruent if and only if the two chords, corresponding chords, are congruent. So as long as those chords are corresponding, then we can say those two arcs are um, congruent to each other as well. So take a moment to pause the video and write that down. So if you notice in this picture right here, um, AB and CD, those two chords are congruent. And the arc AB is 60, therefore we can say the measurement of CD is also going to be 60 because of this theorem up here. And that's all it's saying. Okay, as we move on, uh, we're going to use some algebra here. So in circles J and circle K, the two arcs are congruent. Then we need to find what PQ is. Well, since the two arcs are congruent, we can say the two chords are congruent as well. So we can set 2x plus 1 equal to 3x minus 7. And when we solve, we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. Subtract 1. Divide by negative 1, so we get x equals 8. But that's not what we're asking. We're trying to find what pq is. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in here for pq. And it's really raining outside. I hope you guys have a safe trip home. So 3 times 8 is 24. 24 minus 7 is going to be 17. So PQ then equals 17. Alrighty. Okay, on the next slide, more theorems. So I want you to take a moment and, and uh, pause the video and write these down if you haven't already done so. Okay, so what 10.3 is saying is that if we have XZ and ZY, if those two, or excuse me, if we have XY, that is a perpendicular bisector, um, to the diameter, and I shouldn't say perpendicular bisector, I should just say if it's perpendicular, then um, we can say that XZ and ZY, these two pieces are congruent to one another. And then we can also say that these two um, arcs are also congruent to one another. All right, and the second theorem, 10.4, says if AB is a perpendicular bisector of chord XY, so let's say that this line is um, bisecting, perpendicular bisector means we create a 90 degrees and we cut these two in half, then AB is then, we can say, the diameter, if that happens. All right, so let's use these theorems to solve some problems. So in circle S, we have PQR, this measurement PQR, is 98. So this right here is 98. And we want to find PQ, this piece right here, and we want to also find PR, this chord. So since, by theorem 10.3, the radius SQ is perpendicular to PR right here, we can say that these two um, arcs are equal to one another. So if the whole thing is 98, this whole thing is 98, then we can say that the measurement of PQ, arc PQ, is going to be 98 divided by 2, which is going to be 49. All right. So then we can say that um, PR then is also um, bisected here, and these two are congruent. So if TR is 6, then PT is also going to be 6. So then PR is going to be 12. Okay, and that's using theorems 10.3 and 10.4. So you got to make sure you have those in your packet. Okay, make sure you have those in your packet. Okay, here's another one. We want to find TV. How long is this cord going to be? OK. 
Okay, how long is this going to be? So we know we have a right angle here. And we want to see if we can figure out what this piece is right here. Because we know that these two are congruent to one another. So pause the video, write this down, kind of see where would you go from here. All right, I made this a little bit bigger here. So what we're going to do, we know this is a right angle, and we know this radius right here. Oh gosh, that's not very good. I'll try to make it straighter. There we go. This is a radius, or this is the radius right here. We know that this is 11. So in order to find this piece right here, can we use the Pythagorean theorem? Yes, we can. And I think Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. My room just went pitch black. Okay, so we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem. So we have 6 squared, and we can call this B if you want, or A, um, plus B squared equals 11 squared. So I want you to go ahead and find out what the answer is to, for B. Okay, so here is the work to be shown. And you should get B is... 9.2 and that is hail hitting my window Jeez Louise I really hope you guys are got home safe so if B is 9.2 okay so we know that these are congruent and um, so we know these are congruent so if we want to find TV we're going to add these two together or take it times two and TV ends up being 18.4 around there. Okay. All right, let's move on. So here's theorem 10.5. Go ahead and take a moment to pause the video and write this down if you haven't done so. And maybe take a minute or two to take a break because this is a long video and I apologize, but I want to get through all of these little theorems. Okay, so this theorem is saying that two chords are congruent if and only if they are equidistant from the center. So if they are the same distance away from the center, we can tell that because of these perpendicular segments that are created here. And um, we learned that way back in like chapter three. Um, then we can say that these are congruent. All right, so these have to be equidistant from each other. So let's do some problems using this theorem. So W, X, and X, Y are 22. All right, so we know that these two chords are the same, or they are congruent to one another. So we want to find A, B. So since we have these chords that are the same, we can set these two um, segments, these perpendicular segments that are equal, we know that they are equidistant. Um, we can go ahead and set them equal to each other. So, and solve for that. So we'll subtract 3x from both sides. We have 2x equals 4. Divide by 2. x equals 2. And we want to find AB. So we're going to say AB is equal to 5x, which will be equal to 5 times 2, which is equal to 10. So AB equals 10. Let's try another one. Um, PQ is 3x minus 4 and RS is 14. So see if you can pause the video and try this one on your own. So we know the chords are equidistant from each other so we can go ahead and set these two chords equal to each other because they are congruent. So we're going to add the 4 over and we get 3x equals 18 so x equals 6 and that is what we wanted so now I'm finally to the end of my video I hope you enjoyed it I know I threw a lot at you but really it's just using those theorems and setting things equal to each other that's about it and using some algebra so if you want to get a head start on tomorrow's assignment in class assignment I will give it to you page 718, 2 through 22 even. And that's up to you if you want to kind of look it over. Um, otherwise, this is what we're going to be doing in class tomorrow. I'm going to add some more on to it. And, yeah, that's all I have for you. And we'll see you tomorrow. Adios.